Hey guys, today we're back with another unboxing video. And today on the channel we have the Dan Wesson Valor in 10mm. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Once again, today we will be doing an unboxing review for the Dan Wesson Valor in 10 millimeter. I purchased this today, 12 10 2018. Uh, this is the first and only video of the Dan Wesson in 10 millimeter on YouTube, so I'm glad I could uh, bring this to you all. First off, we'll talk about everything that comes with it from top. On the top of it, we've got lock. We've also got this paperwork in here. Uh, takedown tool for the grips and a uh, decal to put on the back of your car or anything like that. So we'll set this over to the side. Let's bring this on around. Alrighty. Let's take out the gun. Be careful with it. Also, a little packet just keep the uh, moisture out. Gun is unloaded, finger test. Alrighty, here we go. Comes with two eight round 10 millimeter magazines uh, from factory. Has a place to put them just in case if you didn't want to store it with a gun or wanted to get an extra one to store with it. As you can see, there looks really good this back up. Also comes with a barrel bushing tool underneath it. I like that. Uh, really nice box overall. Uh, Dan Wesson is now made by CZ so uh, pretty much all their boxes look the same exact as a uh, FNX box or FN9C uh, or any of that stuff. But uh, this is pretty much uh, from CZ's custom shop. Uh, this is uh, the Dan Wesson Valor in 10 millimeter. You can see right there. Like I said, this is the only video on YouTube that I've seen of the 10 millimeter Valor. There's uh, many other uh, Valor videos. I don't really think there's even many uh, full-sized Valor videos on uh, YouTube. But uh, this this gun right here, let me just straight up tell you. Uh, it was, let's see here. They run pretty much about around 1650 to 1700 uh, new. This is uh, the stainless version. As you can see, has a three or has a uh, pretty much a eight. Uh, you make a figure eight in it. It's not sights, true Jacon. I like them. Uh, they're interesting. I haven't really seen any kind of sights like this before. Uh, this gun right here, let me straight up tell you, is something else. Uh, the Valor itself feels exactly like a Ed Brown or a uh, Wilson Combat. It's a uh, it's a weird feeling. Let me just straight up tell you, it is a weird feeling. Um, whenever you have a gun like this in your hand, there is absolutely no shake to it at all. I can sit here and shake all day long, and there is no there is no rattle to it, no shake or nothing. Uh, this gun is just as smooth, if not smoother, than the Ed Brown that I have. I mean, it's it's really something else. Uh, the uh, the barrel is crowned also. I like that. Uh, barrel bushing is very tight. I've already took it apart and cleaned it before uh, we've done this. Has a full, uh, has a full chambered support uh, barrel for the 10 millimeter. Also has a feed ramp in it. I like that. Not many 19 limbs come with a feed ramp. That's for uh, more reliability and everything. Comes with the slimline VZ G10 grips on it. Them uh, grips or something else, they, they feel amazing in your hand. I believe this is the best feeling pistol I've ever had in my hand. Uh, they call these the poor man's Ed Brown. As you all know, I've had the Ed Brown Cobra. And uh, straight up, this gun right here is just as nice, if not nicer than it. Uh, this is prob this is 100% the best uh, pre-custom 1911 on the market. Uh, probably second place would be Sig Sauer, but uh, this right here beats Colt, beats Ed Brown, or, or not Ed Brown, sorry, beats Colt, beats Camber, beats Springfield. Every single uh, 19 lemon that you can think of, this uh, Dan Weston right here will beat it. Uh, they're expensive though. 
like I said, this right here run you sixteen fifty, seventeen hundred dollars normally, but uh, they uh, they're they're worth the money. You're getting a custom gun. You're getting the custom gun. Uh, pretty much feeling everything at a uh, pre custom uh, pre custom price. Like I said, I've never felt another pistol like this in my hand. I mean, it, besides a Ed Brown or a Wilson Combat, just the way it feels, it's uh, it it really is nice. I'm at a loss of words, being honest with you. The uh, the safety, very positive. Probably the most positive safety I've ever had, even more than the the Wilson Combat or the Ed Browns. Uh, but guys, we'll get a little bit deeper into the gun for the shoot review. Uh, this also has front grip serrations and just overall one of the, one of the most beautiful 19 limbs I've ever seen. Like I said, though, we'll get a little bit more deeper into it whenever we get back to uh, or when, when we do the shooting review. But guys, I appreciate y'all viewing. Like and subscribe for more gun reviews, and I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs>